more of a topic style video here uh, versus like a regular watch video because I've already done the video on the G-Shock MRG B5000 D1 because like a year ago, I actually bought one of these. So that's more what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the concept of a rebuy, rebuying. Should you do it? This was a, a rebuy from me a year after I had owned one and sold it. And I kind of like talked myself into it in the sense that it was around my birthday and I was like, you know what, I kind of want to treat myself. I've worked really hard and I really missed the MRG square. So I went ahead and did it, right? So I, I got a hold of Mimo. He didn't even have any uh, Mimo's jewelry out in Long Beach, California. He had to allocate one. He got one in and uh, I picked it up through him. He still has the black one. I mean, again, this is going to be a snapshot in time. Um, he still has one of the black ones in stock. But uh, I guess these are getting kind of hard to find, which is, I guess, kind of expected, but also kind of weird because this was $3,500 retail and the black one is $4,000 retail. You may or may not be able to get deals on them, uh, depending on where you pick them up and the scenario. But because they are a little challenging to source, there might not be much of a discount, but... Anyway, let's get back to the rebuy concept. So I used to rebuy a lot. I used to rebuy on a regular basis. And I know a lot of the watch guys will do that as well. Uh, they, they'll have like that one watch that they, they've owned like three or four or five times. Like a ridiculous amount of times. Which is just insanity. For one, I guarantee you, you're losing money every time you sell it and then rebuy it. There's no way... Or it's, it would be the exception, not the norm, that you would be breaking even or making money. It's possible. So I'm sure people in the comments will say, yeah, 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 made money, bought it again, made the money, bought it again, made money. Um, that's not normal. Normal is to lose it on the flip and then spend more than you wanted to on the rebuy. That's pretty much what most of us do, unfortunately. So what's the point? Why Why rebuy? Well, because we're we're crazy, right? We're crazy watch guys. Um, so I've adopted a rule kind of over the years of playing around with the watches to not really do a rebuy anymore. And I've done very well at not rebuying with the understanding that there's so many other watches out there to buy. So like pick whatever watch you want and you have that urge to rebuy it. You need to redirect that in, in search of something different, you know, something that is maybe a competitive option for that particular watch. Instead of doing the rebuy, check out its counterpart or something at that price point in a different type of uh, genre of watch. So there's different ways to do it. And if there isn't currently one out there that, you know, meets that criteria, if you just wait a little while, guaranteed one will pop up. There's new watches being produced all the time new models from whether it's a reputable brand or a new micro brand or whatever and this is covering all price points i don't care if we're talking a casio world timer you know a 15 20 watch or we're talking a uh you know a vacheron or a whatever expensive watch okay pick whatever you want it, it this applies to all of the above so now i still stand by no more rebuys however I've made exceptions, but those exceptions come with some expectations or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, beyond expectations, there's criteria that I must adhere to. So a rebuy on this means I cannot sell it. So as much as any point in time, I, I'm like, all right, I'm going to sell it. I'm not wearing it or whatever. It doesn't matter. If I'm not wearing it and it's a rebuy, my new rule is... I can put it away somewhere and forget, pretend I don't have it because selling it is not going to be an option. This Helsin was a rebuy. This was actually my old watch. I picked it up from the guy that I sold it to. I rebought it. Um, and it was mostly because he sent it in for a Sunday fun day and I handled it and I forgot how much I loved the watch. I didn't remember why I sold it. It didn't matter. I... It rekindled that love that I had when I first bought it. 
so I rebought it. Now that one's also in that same category. No longer an option to even potentially think about selling it. Cannot do it. So where there's some deviation on the rebuy, and I could have skirted that rule, I could have picked up a different color of that. That's not a rebuy. In my, category, in my definition of it, if I would have added the date to it, or if I would have went with the 12 instead of the big triangle, any sort of alteration from the original exact model that I bought is no longer a rebuy. I bought a different colorway of that watch. For example, and I've owned a couple of these before, I think, but I can own multiples of the same watch and I'm not duplicating. It's a different colorway, okay? Um, Zodiac. I've done it with the Zodiacs. I own three of these. They're different colorways, and in this case, titanium, okay? Gets a pass. The Shinola, I had the station agent. 45 millimeter automatic run well. Basically the exact same watch, different colorway. This isn't a rebuy. This is me buying a different Shinola. Yes, it's essentially the same watch, but it's a different colorway. You know, if you want to talk about Seikos, there's mods. Not, there's so many different ways to mods. The um, 5KXs, the SKX, the, uh, the, the other 5KX. They're different colorways. So they're not, they're not even duplicates. They're just different colorways of the same model of watch. So those all get a pass. You, can, you know what I mean? Like if you were to pick up, um, again, pick up any brand, right? And then you, I think I explained it enough. I don't need to keep explaining it. You guys get the point. So I've made exceptions. It's okay. We don't have to have, there's no absolutes or rules in this hobby. We're winging it here. We can do whatever we want. If you want to be a rebuy junkie, then go for it. But I, I think if you set some boundaries and, and set some rules, make them similar to what I've applied to uh, my hobby and my collection style, I think you can navigate your way through this crazy and uh, manic behavior within the hobby and be content, if that's a thing we ever actually do. Um, but so a couple of rebuys. Not bad, not bad. Couple of um, same model, different colorways. You know, an exception to the rule, it happens here. That's, you know, I wanted another Shinola, 45 millimeter run well, got rid of the station agent, bought me an orange dial one, gets a total pass. You guys get the point. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. What rules do you have when it comes to purchasing watches um, kind of at this level, you know what I mean? Like with the rebuy versus different colorways versus uh, different models. Let me know what, you, what your guys' um, theory is on it and your thoughts on it. And if you have hardened rules on it that you will not break or if you will compromise as long as you put, you know, expectations on that compromise. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. I was wearing for this video... I'm still testing this MIP G-Shock Square tracker, or kind of basically a smartwatch. I'm really starting to like this watch. The notifications, eh, I could do without, but I'm really starting to like the watch. See you guys on the next vid.